Okay, this video is for uh, Glenn Ross, uh, for his um, UK uh, Strongest Man um, competition where they're going to do some steel bar bending. Um, Glenn, uh, as I've said, told you before, use hot rolled steel. Uh, usually tell what it is, black with flaky look appearance. Uh, don't use cold rolled steel or rebar because of the bounce back. So, um, Obviously what makes it harder is the the thickness and how short it is so very thick bar short very hard and uh, but it's down to Glenn of um, what he's deciding what lengths of bars and what steel he's going to use but anyway I'm just going to concentrate on this, the style um, there are certainly some styles that you want to stay away from so don't have any bending on the head or any bending behind the neck but apart from that I'll show you the styles that are very very safe um, to start with we use 10 by 4 suede wraps tie one on elastic band elastic band dead easy we sell them if you want Glenn um, this is a 30 inch 16 mil piece of bar uh, it's advisable guys this is for the competitors to put a mark in the middle just with a felt tip uh, the reason being then you know actually uh, the middle of it to where to do the first bend um, so bearing in mind you're not going to be doing it on your head or behind the neck I think Glenn's got a time frame of about 90 seconds, but he'll better tell you all about that. So, suede wraps, towel. If you've got your own towels, I suppose Glenn will allow you, but once again, this is all down to Glenn and what rules he's going to have. The particular bend, the first bend you're going to do is going to be under your knee there. So have that there. Make the middle exactly there. What you're going to do is you're going to do it like a, a big bent over a row. And you'll probably do two or three of them to get it as far as possible. Um, probably to about 50, 50 degrees, somewhere around like 45 degrees, 50 degrees. And then you'll go to a crossover move, then against the chest and then between the legs. I'll show you those techniques in a minute. So grab right on the end and you'll do that big pull. Um, <coughs> also push down with the knee. So it's yes, like this, really steady. One, two, third one. Now to cross over, there to there, lock it just under there like so, and once again, one, two, three. From there, you've got it to beyond 90 degrees, let's put this against the solar plexus, like so, and I'll go sideways, and you'll pull it in. So first one, like that, and second one, use your wrist to help with that. And then thirdly, in between the legs, feet close together, like so, and like that. Now I don't know what distance, but we usually all do bends <coughs> till the the legs are parallel with each other, slightly off that one. And you can see what the the wraps like. Now, whether you're doing long bar, short bar, thicker. Thinner, you can see it's just wrapped on 10 by 4 piece of sway. Also, put a bit of chalk on there and on, of course, on your hands. Um, the style is exactly the same. There is a couple of other little styles you can use underneath the leg and that, but realistically, for you guys, very big and muscled. I've had one of the competitors around here training, Luke Fulbrook. Well, you can see that was uh, I actually got it off, so made it a, a little bit like shorter than what it would be. You can see that's a perfect bend. But it didn't really matter, this is pretty easy fair. Um, hopefully this is as much info for the competitors for the next few weeks to get a bit of training in. And this helps you Glenn. Cheers.